Hello, hello guys. Uh, it's me, it's Bongi. Anyway, Parev, uh, Namaste, Faba, Ndieti, uh, Dumelang, Friamor, Sambunani, Ni Hau, Parev. Let's let's go let's go into it, guys. We have a simple thing today. I will be uh, showing you some nice interesting stuff anyway i know some people they don't like this anyway they are, uh, we have these guys uh, they are called shiram infotech something like that and uh, they do teach people how to repair laptops you can see their whatsapp number there you can go ahead and whatsapp them in case you are interested uh, maybe you want them to teach you a course and all those things i'm not sure if they are still operating or not but here is their number right there, your WhatsApp number right there. And uh, here in JPV, we don't um, we don't collect any cash or any money from anyone for causes and whatsoever. We do everything free of charge. It's how we believe that we you know we can uh, influence some other people to also do the same thing. So anyway, let's uh, let's go into it today. We will uh, I will um go through some few steps step number one it's a laptop voltage requirement remember a laptop uh, requires some sensing uh, voltage right so for instance the cpu here we go the supply the cpu uh, voltage is what it's 1.5 volts sama 0.8 volts uh, and again the amps normally cpu they take 30 some 40 amps and again it depend on any type of the cpu and the one more important thing on the cpu we have this 1.05 volt it's called a vcc i'll explain where exactly you get this uh this power supply so important for a cpu to work this 1.05 volts is so important keep in mind before you, you even get those voltages what exactly the main voltages do you need obvious you need the main power rail of which is what the 19 volts the rod adopter the input voltage of which is fine adapter adapts actual 18 volts or 19 volts or 20 volts depending on your on your laptop and again you need that voltage the main power rail or you need what a battery charging voltage coming from the battery which is 10.8 volts some are 7 volts some are 11 volts and again i repeat just depend on a type of a laptop you are repairing or on the type of laptop you are using some that 10 10.8 is depend guys depend on the battery rating anyway but you need those main power rails you need them okay and uh, what else after the 18 volts you need 3.3 you need 5 volts and the, uh, yeah always you need those power rails i like how they summarize everything for you let's go let's see now you know that the cpu uh, needs how much one volts or 0 0.8 volts and it needs uh 1.05 volts and as i've said before i'll explain where you get this 1.05 volts but this one volts and uh 0 0.8 volts is generated by what the pwm of the cpu a pause width module of the cpu the power supply of the cpu but these 1.05 volts is generated somewhere else but on the board and it goes all over uh, the port it doesn't go to a cpu only it's go to pch it's got some other components as well but i will explain later why it's so important and why you need it and we have mch those old computers they were using uh, ch of which was uh, see again this 1.05 volt it also goes to, to mch and again we have what 1.5 volt and you have what you have 1.8 volt 1.8 volts this is a main power rail for, for what for a cpu i mean for a ram as well 1.5 volts is for what is for a ram again and again this 1.8 volts is for a ram i think uh 1.8 ram uh 1.8 volts what those are uh, all see uh rams with a ddr2 if i'm not mistaken but we'll see uh we have ich uh, they, they show you there 1.5 volts 1.05 volts 1.5 volts 1.8 volts 3.3 and 5 volts we have the dr2 as i've mentioned before the dr2 1.8 volts 3.3 volts and it needs 0 0.9 volts you have to understand all this power rail. you have to check them if you have them on the cpu or on the uh, sorry slots check those pins it's very 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 simple go through it later on 
guys I'll, I'll be teaching you this now from now on uh we'll do practical come back here we have a ceo ceo is a startup chip sio or kpc you all know the kpc chip i've done so many videos uh regarding kpc kpc or startup chip it works with what 3.3 volts okay and the kpc the startup chip the moment when you connect the charger what will happen is you will get the 19 volts right and after getting the 19 volts what else you will get you will get 3.3 always you will get 5 volts always because power rail will be on always the moment you connect the charger without pressing the power button before you even press the power button and again the drop chip will be turned on same time will be turned on okay waiting for you to do what to press the power button Dog chip will be what 3.3 volts as well power chip will be what 3.3 volts as well but in some latest laptops i'm so surprised the bios uh you can find the 3.3 some are 1.8 the latest one the 1.8 volts so keep in mind that don't trim or don't look for uh 3.3 volts always on the bios some cases you won't get the 3.3 you'll get 1.8 and in some cases you'll get zero volts so we'll wait for you to press the power button and then you start receiving power from somewhere to bios chip and on the bios chip on this bios remember again keep in mind on pin number eight that's where you will check for the 3.3 pin number eight that's where you will check for what for 3.3 volts always before pressing the power button let's continue network chip network chip is network card without this card a computer won't work i mean a computer will work but a network won't work will have some struggles with the wi-fi for instance uh there won't be it won't detect any wi-fi around the laptop won't detect any wi-fi around if there is no network chip or the network chip is dead the pc won't detect any a wi-fi or a network around sometimes it will even require you to come closer I and mean, to bring the wi-fi closer to the laptop in order for it to detect what the wi-fi those are all the signs to see and to tell if the network chip is not plugged in or it's not plugged in proper or it's dead or it's not even there guys this is nice this is simple let's continue the audio chip the audio chip works with what 3.3 volts some issues with audio chips what should be some issues with, with audio chips for instance when you are connecting the speaker to your laptop or to your desktop it won't detect what your auxiliary cable it won't pick up any sound there will be no sound at all and worst party when you are trying to install drivers it won't know which driver to use those are all the signs no matter how hard you try the pc will be lost it won't be able to find what to find proper drivers for sound and there'll be no sound that's how you can say that the audio chip is what is dead there'll be no sound at all and again there on the right hand side on the taskbar is gonna notify you saying no audio device detected auto amps five volts you all know amps uh okay there's room temp center this is a temperature center it works with with a 3.3 the temperature center it's a chip it looks more like a like a like a mosfet not exactly but it looks it's got the same legs eight legs four four even same size yeah but the reaching there the, 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 the writing there on top are totally different okay let's move on oh wait if the temperature sensor is dead some pc will don't start up i've seen these cases some don't start up and then quickly shut down and see you do what until you replace the temperature sensor let's continue oh this, this temperature sensor thing it can sense the cpu i mean the temperature on the laptop for example the cpu see how how hot the cpu is getting uh send some other things the gpu some other stuff uh pch it can sense all those things it can send the heat around i'm not sure if you get my point it can send the heat on the board I mean, tell the pc to shut down or tell the fan to move fast but it's cool it's just, it will cool down what the cpu or the gpu guys this is simple just relax let's go ahead uh what else do we have we have a card reader because it does all stuff but again some laptops some computers they have card readers let's continue lcd supply lcd supply is 3.3 volts 
this LCD supply don't confuse this don't confuse this with the backlight uh, supply this is an LCD supply the LCD needs the, the 3.3 enable the, the LCD and, and some other stuff is need that's why just need that 3.3 voltage a drive hard drive is 5 volts the big one are 12 volts but the smaller one for laptops they are 5 volts writer is 5 volts uh, USB is 5 volts I said this is lovely this is easy anyway if th this is it for today i'm just gonna stop there please watch my my next video where i'll be doing something else anyway i love you so much guys subscribe and press the, the like button